Hi, I'm Rob Eater. You're watching Drugstore News TV. We're here in San Diego at NECDS Marketplace. I'm here at Lorna Mead with Pete Columbia. You probably know their brands by now, but if you don't know Lorna Mead, you need to know them a little bit better. A lot of companies go out there and buy old brands and try and pump new life into them. Lorna Mead does something a little bit different. They buy old brands and they redefine them. Pete, Talk to us a little bit about some of the new products you guys brought to, uh, to, to Marketplace this year and some of the things you want retailers to know more about. Well, when you talk about a business like Yardley, it's a business that's been around for over 200 years. Um, one thing that we, we uh, understood, which was an opportunity, is bringing naturals into the bar soap section. When you think about a category that has over 98% household penetration, and yet there's not a lot of innovation going on in that category, we knew there was an opportunity to, to do something. So we brought naturals now to the Yardley family of bar soaps. Again, you know, retailers know a lot of these brands. So what kind of consumer insights are, are you using to kind of pump new life and, and, and redefine these brands that retailers should know more about. Well, at, at Lorna Mead, the one thing that we do believe in is, is, is really understanding who your consumer is. And uh, an example of that would be with the Lipsil brand, where we did a lot of consumer research. And, and the one thing that, that kept coming back is following trial, consumers uh, really love this product and will come back to the, uh, to, the, to the brand. And in fact, top two box score had over an 86% would definitely buy, probably buy this product. And that's helped define our entire marketing program for Lipsil. Uh, for instance, we're doing over 2 million samples of, of, uh, of Lipsil in this next year, which, is, which will really help drive trial on this brand. All right. Well, you know, again, Pete, these are, uh, these are pretty storied brands. I mean, the retailer knows them, consumers know about them, but what are you doing to uh, tell consumers this, the new story about some of these brands? What, what, talk about, tell us about your marketing plans. Well, let's, let's talk about Finesse now, where we have a real focused advertising support plan. We're spending over $10 million in, in advertising, but a lot of it starts and ends with the consumer, understanding who our core consumer is. For instance, Finesse indexes over 170% to Hispanic core consumers, so we're spending over 10, uh, 25% of that total AMP budget on Hispanic consumers. And we're doing it through radio, we're doing it through print, and we're doing uh, uh, quinceaneras uh, uh, programs where we actually have uh, uh, young girls, when they turn the age of 15, we actually throw parties for them, which is a really, really uh, a big event in, in Hispanic uh, con uh, consumers' lives. Ay, ay, ay. Finesse en Espanol. I mean, that's, uh, that's really quite something. Um, but now you've got a bunch of brands here, and they compete in some different categories. And again, you know, you guys play a different role. So talk to the retailer a little bit about, you know, stepping away from some of the brands. What's the role you guys are playing in these categories? Well, at Lorna Mead, it's, it's all about productivity. And if you take a look at any one of our brands, our SKUs are top performing as far as productivity. The way we define that is IRI will take a look at, at uh, effective distribution, and we div divide that effective distribution by our total volume, and you come out with a productivity index. And you'll see Finesse is actually the number six most productive hair care brand. Lipsil is actually a top three lip balm uh, product. And Yardley in units is, is one of the top bar soap. So it is all about productivity. It's about providing a nice margin for our retailers. And, and at Lorna Mead, it's all about helping retailers differentiate themselves with our products. So we really go to market differently with each of our retailers to help them define how they want to go to market with our products. Lorna Mead, you know their brands. You really need to know these guys better. You know, the next time a brand's up for sale, Mr. and Mrs. Category Buyer, you're going to wish that these guys buy it. I'm Rob Eater. He's Pete Columbia. Keep watching Drugstore News TV.